Hey guys, welcome back to our segment routing traffic engineering series. In the last episode, we went ahead and took a look at another type of matrix and that was hot comp. In this episode, we are going to go ahead and focus on a very interesting topic and very short type of a metric within the labs or actually in the real production environment and especially with the service provider. Because this metric brings a lot more value for a provider because they can go ahead and add like a value added services or premium services they can offer based on the lowest latency throughout their network. And some of the real life example would be like, you know, any provider network has, you know, grown organically to a very large capacity links. Now with these higher capacity link, we can go ahead and start to give different kind of services based on low latency and some of the other things. So in this episode, we will go ahead and explore the metric type as a latency. A lot of people just call delay also as one of the type to figure out the path from a source to a destination. And for this particular feature, we will be making use of a feature called performance measurement is used for latency based, you know, your SR traffic engineering policy. So, so far in this topology, we have not made any kind of a change or anything. So without that, let's go ahead and create a policy and we will see what happens when we don't have a latency and let's see when we introduce a latency, what are the effect of that latency on our policy. So let's go ahead and get started again for this particular demo. We will be using PE1 as our head end or PCC node and PE3 will be acting as our tail end or the end point or the destination. And then, you know, we would need to figure out a path from PE1 to PE3. So let's go into the configure mode and we go as usual segment routing traffic engineering. The very first thing that we need to go ahead and set do is what? Yes, as usual. A policy name so we'll say policy and let's call srte underscore policy underscore delay now the another thing that we need to go ahead and configure is a color as you can see on this box we still have our old policy which is hot count and the color we had used is 30 so let's go ahead and pick another color so in this case i'm picking color is 50 and we'll say endpoint and in this case the endpoint is p3 which happens to be 192 168192168 yes and as you can see uh, okay i forgot to type ipv4 let me go ahead and correct that my bad now if you notice that we are creating another policy between the same pair and remember when you have a policy between the same pair the color needs to be a unique value that's why for the first policy the color value is 30 and for this new policy, we are using 50. If I tried using 30, the system will give us an error saying, hey, you cannot reuse 30 because 30 is already in use. Now, the very next thing, we need to go ahead and configure the candidate path. So let's say candidate path. Usual, the preference is 100 in this case. Based on dynamic, it is the metric. And the type that we are interested in this right now is the latency. So we are saying, hey, latency metric type. So we'll go ahead and say, type is latency here that's all pretty much let's go ahead and just commit our chain now let's come out let's quickly take a look at our policy one more time the policy that we just configured so we created a policy by name srt policy delay the color on that policy is 50 the endpoint ipv4 is the loopback ip address of our pe3 router the candidate path there the preference is 100 it is dynamic and the metric type being used is latency so if you take a look at this, our particular policy, so if I do show segment routing, traffic engineering policy, and the color for this policy is 50. So right now, if you see, okay, hey, the policy is admin up. It is operational is also up. Again, it's a configuration. It is active based on, and if you see the metric type here, it says the latency, hey, and the metric, the path that I'm seeing, accumulated metric is four. And it says, okay, from PE1, I'm going to 16,004, which happens to be this particular uh, guys, 16,004, 16,001. So in this case, it happens to be PE4 uh, because this is our 16,001. So it says, okay, hey, I'm going to PE4. And from there, I am kind of, you know, taking the path towards 16,003, which happens to be the PE3. Again, that's the path. On this path, we have not configured any latency or anything. 
and if you really want to verify that we can go ahead and simply run a command that is show performance measurement performance measurement and if you do a summary and right now it says okay hey we don't have any pm process the performance measurement is simply called as a pm process which is measuring the delay and other thing so now let's go ahead and try changing the delay manually on certain links and on certain devices and then see how that affects the overall thing so let's we are on the raw r1 and if you take a look at there are two interfaces again gig 0 and 1 which are going to p3 and p1 so now let's go ahead and make a change so to make a change again we need to go ahead and say okay hey performance measurement so we are going inside the performance measurement configuration and under the performance measurement configuration there are few things and one of the thing that we are interested in is interface and that says enable performance measurement on an interface so now let's go ahead and say interface and in this case let's say i want to use the gig interface zero maybe gigabit ethernet zero slash zero and if you see what are the different options available here there are quite a few options and one of the options that we are interested into it says delay measurement enable delay measurement on the interface so we'll go ahead and say delay measurement followed by we can say advertise delay hey i want you to advertise a certain delay and now we can go ahead and configure that delay in the microseconds so in this case let me go ahead and say probably 10 and that's the only change we are making on one of the interface i'm going to ahead, go ahead and commit the change once the commit is done now let's go ahead and take a look at the configuration we just did so show run performance measurement and if you go ahead and take a look at okay hey we just went ahead and enabled the pm or performance measurement onto interface gigabit ethernet zero where for this interface we are advertising a manual delay of 10 microseconds again you can go ahead and change this this is a lab so we would have to play with if you're working with a physical real devices and real interfaces you will have a certain delay and you know there are other ways to measure that delay but this is one of the quickest way to go ahead and change the delay on a link and now we can go ahead and verify that again and if you recall the command that we ran that was the show performance measurement summary and if you take a look at let me just get the whole output first and then we'll talk about it so let me go ahead and scroll it up quickly and it says okay hey the performance measurement is enabled and there are total interface it says okay right now zero the measurement is kind of a two way the probe interval is every 30 seconds and the burst count is 10 packets some of the thing and if you take a look at this is which says periodic advertisement is enabled right now and this is the default profile and that is the default profile that is being used in this particular case and now if you take a look at on the other one we have one interface and some of the other information that you can go ahead and uh, read about actually so if you take a look at the above the interfaces so we can go ahead and say show performance measurement and i can go ahead and run the command interfaces so if you run the interfaces command it says okay hey, for this interface the delay measurement is enabled and it talks about some of these the ip addresses and you can see the state for this interface is currently being up and if you scroll down further you would see okay hey, advertised a delay so it says and why am i advertising because we have advertised delay configuration we configured this delay purposely and you would see the minimum is 10 and only the minimum value is being used by the SRT. So you have to keep in mind the SRTE or segment routing traffic engineering only uses the minimum value for the SRTE purpose actually. And if you go ahead and scroll down further, in the next advertisement, if you say it says no probs completed. So what the meaning of this line actually, it says hey, this is simulated, will show actual prob with physical devices. That means when we will have a physical device, in that case we would see an actual value because this is a simulated device and we are simulating this delay that's why it says hey, no probs are completed but that's how we can go ahead and verify what is the delay configured on a certain link by the running the show performance measurement interface command and if you recall we had just configured a policy earlier between pe1 and pe3 and we had configured it to use a path with the lowest latency primarily now let's go ahead and if you recall it was taking some path and if i go ahead and scroll up it was saying okay i'm going via 16004 16003 and the path accumulated metric was 4. 
So now let's go ahead and take a look at the status of the, our same policy. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a couple of arrows just to save some time. So say show segment routing traffic engineering policy and we are looking color 50. And now if you go ahead and take a look at okay, hey, it says there is no change that I, I you know I am kind of seeing on this particular link. Now let's go ahead and make some change. We just went ahead and configured a latency of 10 microsecond on the gig zero. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing on the gig one. So we'll do the same performance measurement. We'll say interface gigabit ethernet 001. We'll say add. Now let me just look at the configuration again, guys. Delay advertisement. Advertise delay of let's say 20 in this case, and I'm going to make a commit here. And if you come out and if we do the same command again, show performance measurement interface, you would see both the interfaces now and their respective delay configured. Okay, let's see if there is any change to our policy. Aha. Uh -huh. So if you see in this case, now the our path accumulated metric became 13. Why 13? Because earlier we had four, because each of the link there was nothing was configured. So it was treating as a one if you recall, and that's why it was taking four hops. It was primarily four. So in this case, it says hey, I'm using the latency, but now the accumulated metric is 13. Why? Because out of these two link, gig zero and gig one, gig zero had a 10 and one had 20. So it went ahead and preferred the link towards 16001, which happens to be this link towards P1. That had a delay of 10 microsecond and rest are 111. That is why we see 10 plus another 3 is 13 microsecond. And it says, okay, hey, I am going to 16,014 first. From there, I am using an adjacency path from P1 to reach, uh, and then I am taking, I'm going to the node 16,003 finally. And if you keep on changing the latency across the path, we would see a slight different variations. So in this case, we had, let's say, hey, this was 10. Now I can go ahead and modify the latency on another links also. So you can go ahead and you know change the link for any particular policy that you want, and that would go ahead and you know update your accumulated metric. So that's how we can go ahead and modify the latency across the path using the performance measurement. Again, if I have to show you, show run performance measurement, and in this case on only on router R1 or PE1, we said, okay, for gig zero, the delay I want is 10 microsecond. And for the gig one, I'm setting it to 20 microsecond. And you can go ahead and configure the same delay across all the links on all different router. So your policy can take certain paths or the path which have lowest latency. That's how you can go ahead and make use of the latency metric type to figure it out a path from one node to the another node and that will be all for this episode so in this episode we saw that how would you go ahead and configure a policy based on metric type latency and how would you go ahead and modify the latency across the link and when you modify the latency across the link how that affects your policy and you can see our policy was smart enough and automatically was able to figure it out a path where we had the lowest latency because out of these two paths one had 10 and this has 20 so it went ahead and picked up a path with the lowest latency and in this case is 10 and every time we are using a policy of type with dynamic that is the reason we don't have to make any change the segment routing or the PCC or the head end is smart enough to calculate a path based on the metric type that we had configured in our policy configuration so this was the configuration that we went ahead and did under performance measurement. And here is our policy that we had configured. So the policy was simply a delay policy based on the type of latency. And then we went ahead and used and then later on we ran some of the show commands related with the performance measurement. We ran the show performance measurement to see the default profile what type of measurement is being done was it one way as a two way was this the burst count was this the periodic advertisement and then we also went ahead and took a look at the individual interface by doing the show performance measure interface to see okay on this interface do we have performance or delay measurement enabled or not and if it is 
what is the delay value that is being configured and again the srte only uses the minimum value for the latency measurement or the calculation so in the advertised delay you would see an average a minimum and a maximum in that case only the minimum value is being used so that will be all for this episode again you know i would encourage you guys to do a lot more hands-on if you have any questions yeah do leave me a comment that will be all for this episode and this episode kind of concludes all the possible type of a matrix that you can do using a local on a local node where the path calculation is done by this particular local node no other node in the topology is aware of the path calculation or there is nobody who is keeping a track of any of these calculation so in the next episode we will go ahead and introduce a new component which is your srpce this srpce will go ahead and start keeping a track of all of these different type of policies all these different type of calculation because so far we have only learned that how would you go ahead and optimize we have been so far optimizing our policies based on different type of matrix now we will also go ahead and introduce the another concept which is constraint we will all be able to configure some constraint with our policy where we can say okay hey you know i definitely want you to take a path which is lowest and delay but you would have to fulfill certain more conditions like you know i want to make sure that my traffic is not passing towards the node p1 or it is not trying to take this particular cross link and some of the other things so that'll be all for this episode i will see you guys in the next episode thank you